How you doing everybody? Tim here from the Tactical Defender. Today's video is going to be about these three packs right here. These are the Rush series, the 12, the 24, and the 72 from 511 Tactical. And because of a channel supporter of mine, which is GideonTactical.com, I will have their, their uh, information and link to their website in the box below. I told them some ideas I had, some videos I wanted to do, and they said, let's hook you up with the Rush 24. Great website wonderful people to deal with and their prices are very fair. If you're looking for any one of these three as well as a whole bunch of other really cool tactical uh, gear products and then some, go check them out. Again, link in the box below. Wonderful people, easy to use website and well, they support my channel and uh, so go show them some love. I want to discuss these three bags right here. I get a lot of questions on these bags. I get a lot of views, a lot of thumbs up, and a boatload of questions. Which one is this? What's the size of that? How can I use this? Can I use this for that? And I'm hoping maybe because it's really bad weather out today, I'm inside, maybe I can clear some of that up for you today. The Rush 72 is 1,000 denier ballistic nylon. Very strong, very tough. The 24 and the 12, they are both 1,050 denier ballistic nylon. Very strong and very durable. I've certainly put them all through the test and they've done very well since I've had them. The 72 is 3,342 cubic inches, which equals out to 55 liters. And these stats come right off the 5LM Tactical website. The 24 is actually 20, uh, 2,275 cubic inches, and that equals out to 37 liters, just slightly smaller as you can tell from them hanging behind me. And the Rush 12 makes an amazing EDC bag. This is actually 1,476 cubic inches equals out to, I believe, 24 liters. And these stats came off of the 511 Tactical website. Obviously, as you can tell, and I kind of set them up the best that I could, that the 72, obviously bigger, the Rush 24 is the middle and the 12 here. The 12 I've used for a very, very long time as my EDC bag. I recently kind of retired it because I now have another EDC bag that I'm gonna be using for quite some time. Um, but for me, I am just under 5'11". I'm like 5'10 and a half. I'm 230 pounds at this current moment. This for me, makes a fantastic EDC bag. Not something I would hike with. I have, but it's definitely small, and uh, I need a little bit more. The 24 is perfect. Regardless of how big or how small, how big, thick, and or um, how thin you are, the 24 makes a great hiking pack. Day hikes, maybe a, sh a quick overnighter, and uh, as far as the EDC bag, in my opinion, a little too big. Just my opinion. Whereas the 72, obviously not a very good EDC bag. It's really big and it holds a lot of gear. I mean, it's 3,342 uh, cubic inches, 37 liters. I mean, that holds a lot of gear. I've had ton of stuff in here with camera equipment, audio camera equipment, a camera slide, tripod hanging off the side, a machete on one side, all my stuff on the, and I still had room left over. I mean, it holds a lot of gear. I've had the same amount of gear, almost, almost, in this. Now, the stuff that I had in the 72, and had room left over. I didn't have a whole lot of room left over in this, but because all three have a ton of PALS webbing on them, I can actually put 
other stuff, other pouches on them and just expand them. And I really like that. So let's say I don't want to go out with this big, huge bag. I could take the uh, 24, hang some stuff on the outside because they all have PALS webbing here, the same exact spots. They all have PALS webbing down the side, every single bag, from top to bottom, from top to bottom, and the same here, all the way here to there. And I mean, they're just really nice packs. They literally fit a roll, I mean, in every single roll that, that, that I need. Bug out bag, hiking pack, EDC bag. It's perfect. Now they all, um, I believe I said this is 1,000 Denny and Blissick. Now did I say that? And both of these are 1,050. They went a little bit low, I'm guessing, to 1,000 instead of 1,050 because the 50 is not that big of a difference and they wanted to cut weight a little bit, I'm guessing. They all have compression straps. The 72 has two on each side. The 24 just has one, not one on the bottom, really not that big of a deal. And also the, uh, the, 20, uh, the 12, just one on the top, not one on the bottom. They all have a pocket in the front. Okay, big pockets you can put stuff in and then they all have a large pocket here in the front bottom sort of the admin pouch. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. And in a minute, I'm gonna open them up and I'll show you that. They all have a grab handle. They all have a, a, um, a pocket in the back, a fleece line, flannel, a little more like a fleece line pocket to put glasses, cell phone, things that you don't want scra scratched and scraped or damaged. Each pack has that. They all have YKK zippers with paracord pulls. Great with gloves. I mean, they work really, really well. And, um, and then they all have fantastic organization pockets on the inside. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute. All right. Now I opened the pouches up. Um, as I've said, they all have uh, some form of a pouch on the top. The 12 has just one big pocket. Now the 24 actually has two pockets, one on each side, uh, you know, great organization. And then the 72, I'm sorry for the way I have this set up, is again, more or less like um, the 12. It's just one big pocket. It's got some nets and pockets in there. Now I opened up the front. This has some stuff in there because I've been using the 24 as my uh, my hiking pack now. As you can tell here, this is the 12. Big zipper pocket, another big pocket. I mean, th there's pockets, more po small pockets, a big pocket, and a zipper, really large pocket. Great organization. I'm telling you, two YKK zippers, great pack. The 24 is literally just about laid out almost the same way as the 12. I have some stuff in here. Uh, a zippered large pocket, an open big pocket, two small pockets, but these have a little bit of a, uh, a hook and loop with a strap. And then you have two big pockets here. Again, YKK zippers. Great bag. Now the, the 72 obviously is a larger bag. It's going to have considerably more uh, room, obviously. And this has some more pockets. As you can see, hopefully you can see that. It has a netted pocket. It has two large pockets. They fit AK or AR-15 magazines easy. Same with these here. You have some pens, pencil, light pockets a large open pocket, a zipper, even larger, big, big pocket, and then you have a zipper netted pocket up there. The Rush 12, again, much smaller bag, no pocket on the outside, on the side, no side pocket, but it does have a, uh, a PALS webbing up and down. You can add stuff if you like. 
the 24 does have uh, see my keep my bug repellent when I go hiking does have a nice pocket easily fits bug repellent you have a drink you want to put a drink in there I don't particularly care to use uh, water bladders I just don't I got my reasons um, I like to put drinks in there I'll put a fold saw in there maybe a fix an extra fixed blade bug spray in there and I still have some more room I can put more in there and that has those pockets on each side now with the 72 the 72 let me open this up both compression straps okay same thing the pocket goes from here to here it's a large pocket you can fit a lot more in that side pocket and there's even two small pockets inside the larger pocket hopefully you can see that I mean you can fit a lot in there uh, I don't have anything too big with me but I mean this here I mean you can put that in I mean you can really fit a lot of stuff in there and there's one of those pockets on each side both sides of the pack all right, now I turn the bags around and then let's discuss the harness, the yoke system as they call it. And it's, I mean, it really does make a big difference. And what's going on in the back here? All of them are well padded, as you can tell. They're all the same on the back. They all have a grommet hole on the back. Each one of them has a board in it. It's not actually wood, it's plastic, but each one of them has a board back there to help keep the, the shape of the bag. And it really does help with carrying weight and, um, and the distribution of weight on your back. The, I believe the 24 and especially the 72, not only has that plastic backboard, but there's a piece of metal, uh, like an aluminum bar in there, which I do believe it does, it comes out. I have taken that out of these two bags and have gone hiking with it, with a lot of stuff in and on these bags. The backboard, there's a noticeable difference with the backboard out and with the backboard in. With the backboard out, the bag is still manageable. It's still not a problem. With the backboard back in the bag, I notice that it carries the weight more. And it also gives a little bit of protection between everything in or on your pack and your back. Um, comes out very easily. I've mentioned before, I do have a problem when it comes to that board because... Not that I do it often, but if you stand your bag up on the ground, that board kind of pokes out just a little bit more than what the bag, uh, the bottom of the backpack is, and it knocks your bag over every time. It's not a huge deal because the majority of the time I hang my bag up when I'm in the woods and going out doing my thing anyway. Um, I have heard people took the board out, slid out that little bar, they didn't want it, didn't need it, and then they shaved off a section of the bottom and then it was fine. It still kept its, its uh, rigidity and supports, uh, supported their back, supported everything in the bag when they went hiking. I have not done that, I've been thinking about doing that, but it's not honestly that big of a deal for me. But just so you know that the, with the board out, there's a difference, not a huge difference, but there's a difference. And you can also modify that, pla I say board, but it's plastic. Um, but it is there, just so you know. And there's even one in the, um, in the 12, but not that it really needs it, but it's there. Let's discuss one of the, the, the great, great features about these particular bags. And uh, the 72, the 24, and the 12. It is the shoulder harness, the yoke system, as you can see. All three bags are the exact same when it comes to that part. Anyway, when I first saw that, I thought, wow, well, you know, 
I don't know, am I going to like that on my neck? And is it going to be rubbing? And I'm kind of picky about little things like that, you know? And you have to know, you, you have to admit, you, you're out, you're hiking, you're having a good day. If there's something on your back poking you or rubbing you, you know, it really will spoil the day, spoil the hike, and, uh, and just basically kind of ruin the overall experience, especially your experience with this particular bag. I never feel that. If anything, I feel that resting there, it's not rubbing, it's not moving. I mean, matter of fact, your back shouldn't be shifting and moving on your back anyway. Um, I do notice a difference with my other packs that don't have this particular kind of system. I'm not saying they're any less, they're not good bags. Uh, they're still great bags. I've hiked for years with, with some of them. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, where, where, the, where the strap just goes into the top of the bag instead of this type of system here. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and they all have that. They all have a adjustable sternum strap, which I really do like to use. And um, you kind of, you can go up and down, whatever is best for you. And they all have some pals webbing up and down the sides for several reasons. One, you can put your uh, water bladder in there and the hose can come through. You can feed it through here. I don't do that, but I like these because I always have a knife. My SE4 or my SE5, I always, I strap it to that using the, um, the Molly locks. The Molly locks are a little different nowadays. These are much old. Uh, much older and uh, but they still work just as good and I usually have it right there if you watch any of my videos I just like it hanging there tip up I can grab it use it if I need it quickly I don't particularly like my fixed plates on my belt the on the other side of my 72 or the 24 I have a BDS tactical uh, pouch it is a magazine pouch I actually put a multi-tool. So if you've ever watched my video and you see that on there, there's a multi-tool in there. I put that there because if I'm out, I'm doing something and I need to adjust maybe my tripod, my camera, um, then it's right there. I don't have to take off my bag and fish in my bag for that. So, and that's pretty much what I just put on my bags. There was a time with another brand that didn't have either the size or the organization capabilities that these bags have and I did have stuff all on the outside not a big deal but when you get a bag like this you purchase one of these especially one of these you go hiking where there's so many options on the inside and then I just put these on the outside and I'm good I can do whatever I need and um what I need is there ready waiting for me uh, very comfortable it's well padded it's adjustable obviously and uh, they just they're good they're just fantastic uh, yoke system they call it for the 511 rush series all right now I'm going to show you the best that I can unfortunately I wish I could move the camera back if it was nicer out I'd be outside but it's completely downpouring all day today and, and I really wanted to get this video uh, done I removed some of the things I had in the bags. All the bags do what I call, um, they open like a fillet or a suitcase open. They open all the way open. And I really like that. You don't have to do that. You can just open it up a little bit and fish down inside. But if you're out somewhere, you lay your bag down, you hang it sort of like this. All right. And it opens up just like that. Same with this one. And you can get in there, you have access to everything you need. And the 72, even bigger, obviously. Um, all the bags, I mean, and, and that's such a great idea. The 72, now if you were to not zipper this all the way down, then you don't have to open it and all your contents spill out. But as you can tell, even the 12, the 12 has one, two netted pockets here. I mean, they're just, they're really nice. And then it's got a big opening. Here's the, that fleece line pocket that you actually access um, on the outside, the top of the bag. But then it has a uh, shock cord with a lock and you have a big open 
space and it's a big bag especially for a 12 hour 72 i mean a 12 hour edc bag now look at the rush 24 it's got a couple of things in there because again i've been using this as my uh, my hiking pack big open space you have a large netted pocket right there i do have a couple of things in there again shot cord with a lock and you have an even bigger pocket there big open space then you have a solid, it's not a net, hopefully you can see that. You have a solid pouch, zipper pouch. You have not one, but two netted pouches. Not this one, but what I really like about this, the top netted pouch, this one here, if you were to have your bag hanging up, they put a zipper not only on the top of the, but on both sides of that net. So when you open it, you want to get something, you undo the zipper, your contents won't spill out. You can use the other zipper. But I mean, there's a ton of organization capabilities in here. And then you have things like, um, this is my first aid kit. I use pouches for the majority of my other contents. I mean, this is, this is a big, kit this is my first aid kit usually i would stick this in there see and i still have all this room i could build up in there with even more stuff great bag great great bag now we have the rush 72 the larger of the three here we go a big zipper net pouch big we have a very large pouch here shot cord with a lock then we have big open space here. I've right, got a couple things in there. Look at that. I was looking for that. We have a large, hope you can see that, large pouch with a zipper. Okay. A very large net with a zipper. And then again, another net pouch with the zipper on the top and the bottom. I love that feature. So, Again, here is my first aid kit. This is a good size pouch. I don't see you having a pouch. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Larger than this. First aid kit and uh, fire starting kit. I mean, there's so many different stuff. Navigation kit, uh, knife kit, repair, whatever. Repair kit, you know. You could drop this there and there's still room left. It will go here. Look at that. You can zipper it, you're all set. I mean, they are so organized. Look, there's a lot of bags out there, a lot of great companies, wonderful companies. I've seen a lot of companies concentrate just on the outside, and then the inside is just one big open room, right? Big open box. And then I've seen some companies that do the opposite. The outside is very eh, plain, normal, not that, not that big of a deal, but the inside is well organized like these are. I feel with this company, with 511 Tactical and these three bags, they've done, they put as much thought into the outside as they did the inside. Um, with all the pouches, the organization capabilities here, here, you have some stuff on the top. By the way, they all have grab handles. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And then they really went to town with the organization on the inside. I like PALS webbing. Just my opinion. I've said it many times. I really like the tactical style backpacks for hiking, going out, making my videos, and so on. Everything I own is like that. I like PALS webbing. Pals webbing on everything. I want pals webbing on the sides, on the front. I want it all over the place. I want to have it and use it if I want it. If I don't want it, it's still there for when I do. I, when I'm ready and it's there. Not that I've had to expand the 72 or the 24, but with all the pals webbing, I know I could. And I'm telling you, I go out with a lot of gear. Usually I will have my insulin kit because uh, I'm a diabetic. I'll have my first aid kit. This is my first aid kit. It goes from an EDC bag to my hiking pack whenever I go out. Someday I'll have, you know, two. Um, knife, all this stuff. I go out with obviously, um, I mean, a handful of stuff. 
I will bring a number of things that I am going to photograph, video, and or um, review. I'll bring camera equipment. I'll have a tripod, a full-size uh, tripod, a monopod, my camera, a separate little case with my audio stuff. I'll have another bag. It's kind of like one of these, and it will have all of my... Um, batteries, cables, and all that other stuff. And it's it fits in there. I bring a one of these. This is a uh, a hammock. I'll have a hammock in there. Just so you know, this is a hammock. This is one of the uh, the Eno hammocks. I mean, you can put this in there. You can put it there. I mean, it literally gets lost if you have the 72, right? You can put it down at the bottom. You can put it there. Um, there's so much room in these bags there's a lot a lot of room now what i want to do is maybe pull the bags down i want to put them on uh one at a time and show you the best that i can and uh yeah, we'll try that. We'll see what that looks like. So you can see what they look like on me. I'll put some stuff in them. And again, remember, I am five, just under 5'11", 230 pounds. And uh, the most that I've ever carried in one of these was the 72. And I know the, 40, uh, the 24 could handle it easy. The 72 was roughly 50 pounds, about 50 pounds, 52, 49, 52. And that was with everything that day. That was a busy day. And I've done that many, many times. So um, handle it, no problem. And now I have the Rush 12. Again, this was my EDC bag for a very long time. I like a little bit larger EDC bag than most, at least the majority of the people that I know. This fit the bill perfectly. Uh, keep in mind, I am 5'10", 5'10 and a half, 230 pounds, and um, this is an EDC bag. I do also want to preface this by saying that for me personally, because I recently had a very good conversation with somebody, and uh, we were talking about how something may look on you uh, when you go out and you're doing your thing, be it EDC, going to work, going out with the family, whatever. Um, stuff like that, I don't care about. I just don't. I don't care what people think. Um, very few people will say anything to you or me, but I know I've had looks. If they only knew that if you know what hits the fan or if something went down, in, in my EDC bag, I'd have the necessary stuff to save a life and or help people, and I would. But are you gonna get looks? Probably. Do I care what people think? No, I do not. Do I care that people might think, oh my God, that bag looks too big on him, or that pack looks too small on him? No, I do not. So, having said that, Rush 12, we'll put this on. Uh, very comfortable. It's an EDC bag. I left these on, but I w I very rarely ever um, snap that. I just it's again it's an EDC, EDC bag. Um, so you can see it is a bit small, you know, but it served its purpose extremely well. And uh, there are people if you're shorter, thinner. Uh, smaller than me. I'm guessing this would be a fantastic either EDC bag and or your hiking pack. Look, when I go hiking, I bring a lot of stuff. The majority of the stuff that I bring is camera equipment, audio, tripod. I will also bring a um, a, a monopod with me sometimes. I also carry this. Sorry for the delay. This is a camera slider. You know, you put, you know, for when I'm making videos and stuff, um, a large video head, man, man front of video head in the bottom. I will also carry that. I will have that either strapped to the outside of the pack, depending on how many, how much I'm bringing. I may even stand it up inside the pack, and that was with the 72, and it worked fantastic. It stuck out, but it just worked fantastic. So I bring a lot of stuff. If you're just going on for a hike, and you're not bringing all this other stuff and multiple items to actually uh, review, because that's why I'm going in the woods or on my hikes or whatever, then you may not need the larger bags, but.
I just wanted to clarify that. So that is the 12. Here we have the 72. This actually has not all, but some of my actual hiking items in because this is the stuff that I use. Now, when I go hiking, I actually do snap that. So here is a I mean, extremely comfortable, well padded. Here's the side, you can tell the bit larger, obviously. You know, it is a excellent pack. It really, I mean, it holds everything that I have and then some. With this pack, if I was to bring the camera slider that I mentioned, I would strap it to the outside of the pack, and I've done that. Um, with the 72, most often it goes in standing, sticking out a little bit. But um, if you're a big guy, you're bigger than me, this will work fine. As an EDC bag, maybe even as an EDC bag, but definitely as a day hiking pack. If you are going in the woods, you're into bushcraft, you're bringing your cook set and all that other stuff, maybe the 12 is too small. The 24 is virtually perfect. It's right between the two, not too big, not too small. It's heavier than the 12, lighter than the 72. It just is a great bag. And all the features you're gonna get in one, you're getting with the other. Same thing with this, just maybe slightly more pockets with the 72 and obviously a larger bag. So again, and they all have grab handle. Got to have a grab handle, right? Let's go to the 72, right? Larger pack, um, great pack. Many times I will have a large knife strapped to the side of my pack. I will have a tripod if I'm not already carrying it. I will have the camera slider either on the outside or on the inside sticking out. So let's put this one on. My sternum strap, adjustable if I had not already said so. Again, see? Now you can just tell me we're going up in size. This is a great bag. Even with the stuff I've carried, I've had this topped out at roughly 50 pounds. It can handle considerably more than that. I didn't need it to. 50 pounds was, was you know, that might even be stretching it, uh, honestly. I mean, 50 pounds is, is nothing for this bag, and uh, but that's about the most I've carried. All three bags, I mean, you just, they're such nice, packs um, really if you can get all three and you'll be covered for any situation every situation for a very very long time and um, I mean they, there's so much you can do with them you can add to them and uh, anyway all right everybody I really do appreciate you watching this video if you've been looking at one of these packs and you're just not sure which one to get, I really hope that this video has helped. My last couple of videos, I do believe I was wearing the 24, if you wanna go check those out, and the videos for the last two or three years, um, starting give or take a month ago, for about two or three years, all the videos were with the 72. Go check it out, please. And uh, if you have any more questions, just ask me down below. They all do, I just thought of something, they all do have the water bladder compartment. I don't use a water bladder. I put other items in there. Uh, you can put a tarp in there. I take large commercial grade, uh, industrial grade uh, trash bags. I fold them up and I put those in there because I can use those for all kinds of things. If I'm out, it starts pouring out. I can cover my camera and everything and we're safe. I usually have a rain jacket already. And so, I mean, there's so much stuff you can do with these fantastic bags. I really appreciate you watching this video. Link down below for Gideon Tactical. Because of them, I was able to make this video and I have a couple other using all three bags coming out soon. Great company and, uh, and they're wonderful. They support me and my channel. So uh, that is all everybody. Be well, stay safe, and we'll talk soon. Bye.